Hi friends, did you know that June 1 is the beginning of hurricane season? Well, it is important that you make the necessary preparations. As a result, you need to put the plans in place that are essential to make sure that if anything were to happen, that you will recover quickly. June 1 to November 30 is hurricane season. Be vigilant. Be on guard. Be here. We're going to share with you some tips that you can employ during this season. Come with us. First things first, let's talk about creating an emergency plan. Create an emergency plan. Discuss this emergency plan with your household or family members. Know your evacuation routes and choose a safe meeting place if you get separated. Please don't forget to include your pets in your plan. Assemble an emergency kit. Your kit should include non-perishable food, water, medication, your important documents, batteries, a flashlight, first aid kit, and your hygiene products. Remember, pack enough supplies to last at least three days. It's the hurricane season. Prepare your homes, secure loose items outside, board up windows, trim trees and bushes to reduce risk of damages. Consider installing storm shutters and check the condition of your roof. Stay informed. Keep an eye on local weather updates and alerts. Sign up for emergency notifications from your local government. A battery-powered or handheld radio can be a lifesaver if you lose power. Remember, be prepared. Evacuation plans. Know where your evacuation zones and your hurricane shelters are. Have a plan when you're going to get to the shelter and how you're going to get to the shelter. Fill up your gas tank with gas and have a go bag ready with bare essentials. As we enter the hurricane season, we have some financial preparedness tips also. There are three tips that I have for you. First one, check your insurance documents to make sure that it covers flood and hurricane damage. Two, secure your personal documents such as passports, insurance policies, car papers, and so on in a secure watertight container. And three, ensure that you get cash because in the event that online banking or your ATMs go down, you want to make sure that you can still make those emergency purchases. The best way to prepare is to have a plan. So how do we plan? There are a number of ways that we can stay safe in a hurricane. The first way is to make sure for those patients who are on a number of medications, to make sure you have your medications ready. Plan with your pharmacy and your health insurance to get those extra supplies of medication that you need to carry you through that storm. Your health insurance is very important, so make sure you have access to this and keep it in a safe place. Take a picture on your phone and store it in a cloud or on a USB port somewhere where you have this readily available in case it's necessary. For those persons who are on medications that have to be refrigerated, make sure you get them at that temperature that needs to keep the viability of those medications. If you do not have access to a generator, dry ice is an option. And if there's no dry ice, then you can keep them in an airtight container on ice. The best thing to do is to make sure that you stay safe. It is good, it's a good time now to get knowledge of first aid and also CPR because this may become very, very useful in a hurricane. In any case, 
Be prepared and stay safe. Safety during the storm. Stay indoors and away from windows. Find a safe room or an interior space without windows. Keep your emergency kit with you and avoid using electrical appliances during the storm. Preparation is the key to staying safe during the hurricane season. Remember, it's better to be over-prepared than under-prepared. Share these tips with your friends and family and let's all stay safe this hurricane season. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more safety tips. See you next time. And brought to you by Flashpoint Media.